This video explains how to calculate the difference between consecutive rows using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you a very simple example. And this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see that a new data object is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains the two columns x1 and x2 and five rows. And in the first column x1, we have numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the difference of these values for each consecutive row. Then we can apply the diff function, as you can see in line six of the code. And in this case, I'm applying the diff function to our data frame column x1, and I'm extracting the values of this column using the dollar operator. And then in this case, I'm also storing the output of the diff function in a new data object that I'm calling diff x1. So after running line six of the code, this new data object is appearing at the top right and we can print the content of this data object to the RStudio console by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object containing four values. And these four values correspond to the differences of the values in the consecutive rows of the column X1. So for instance, the value four is the result of five minus one, and the value minus two is the result of the calculation three minus five. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.